We had a bluegrass band in New Zealand back in the 1960s and 70s and came over to the United States in 1971. We were hosted by Mike Seeger who introduced us to Bill Monroe's on the Grand Ole Opry, actually. He, he arranged for us to play on the Opry. Ladies and gentlemen, Bowser Park Folk Club is proud to present the Hamilton County Bluegrass Band. Meeting Colleen was the best thing that could have happened for my fiddle playing. She was the first teacher to point out my weaknesses, flaws, and wrong thinking. Other people would say, hey, that's pretty good. But Colleen would say, your bowing is awful. You're playing this wrong. I began to think I'd never play a tune to suit her. But her patient approach to teaching began to make her criticism easier to accept. And the fact that I could actually hear the improvement in my playing made me want more of her criticism. I can honestly say that Colleen Trenwith is one of my favorite people I have ever met. Her thoughtfulness, class, and intelligence were evident each time I was around her. If there was something that needed to be done, she would volunteer her time to assist you and she would not rest until the task was completed. It never seemed that she was having a bad day, but if you were, Colleen would be more than willing to do whatever she could to help you. Time and time again, I've seen her impart wisdom and kindness to struggling students. While I was certainly very impressed by her musical talent, her humility taught me just as much. I have learned so much from Colleen as both a musician and a person, and I sincerely hope that she realizes the tremendous difference that she made in my life, as well as countless other students. Love you, Colleen, and I'll miss you. <laughs> 